In this video, I'm going to solve this question. Before I start solving this question, I would like to tell you that if you want a list of questions related to probability with step-by-step -step solutions, then you may have a look at the link provided in the description below. All that said, let's get started with this question. A computer consulting firm presently has bids out on three projects. Let AI is equal to awarded project I for I equal to 1, 2 and 3. And suppose that these are the probabilities that are given to us. In part A, we have to compute the probability of the event A1 union A2. So in part A, we have to compute the probability of the event A1 union A2. Well, this is quite straightforward. We can use the direct formula here. So we can write the probability of the event A1 union A2 is equal to probability of the event A1 plus probability of the event A2 minus probability of the event A1 intersection A2. Well, we are given in the question that this probability is 0 0.22 plus 0 0.25 minus 0 0.11. And solving this, we get that this is equal to 0 0.36. So the probability of this event is 0 0.36. Let's move to part B. In part B, we have to calculate the probability of the event A1 complement intersection A2 complement. Well, we can use the De Morgan's law to calculate the probability of this event. So according to De Morgan's law, we know that the event A1 complement intersection A2 complement is equal to the event A1 union A2 complement. So that means we can write probability of the event A1 complement intersection A2 complement is equal to probability of the event A1 union A2 complement. And this is equal to 1 minus probability of the event A1 union A2. And from part A, we know that this probability is 0 0.36. So solving this, we get 0 0.64. Now let's move to part C. In part C, we have to find the probability of the event A1 union A2 union A3. Well, we have a direct formula to calculate this probability. We know that the probability of A1 union A2 union A3 is equal to probability of A1 plus probability of A2 plus probability of A3 minus probability of A1 intersection A2 minus probability of A1 intersection A3 minus the probability of A2 intersection A3 plus the probability of A1 intersection A2 intersection A3. And we are given all these probabilities in the equation. So we can write this is equal to 0 0.22 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.28 minus 0 0.11 minus 0 0.05 minus 0 0.07 plus 0 0.01 and solving this we get that this is equal to 0 0.53 so the probability of a1 union a2 union a3 is equal to 0 0.53 now let's move to part d in part d we have to find the probability of the event a1 complement intersection A2 complement intersection A3 complement. Well, this part is just an extension of part B. So once again, we can use the De Morgan's law and using the De Morgan's law, we can say that the event A1 complement intersection A2 complement intersection A3 complement is equal to the event A1 union A2 union A3 complement. So that means the probability of the event A1 complement intersection A2 complement intersection A3 complement is equal to the probability of the event A1 union A2 union A3 complement and this is equal to 1 minus probability of A1 union A2 union A3. Well, from part C, we know that this probability is 0 0.53. So subtracting this from 1, we get 0 0.47. Let's move to part E. 
In part E, we have to find the probability of the event A1 complement intersection A2 complement intersection A3. Well, there is no straightforward formula to calculate the probability of this event. So to find the probability of this event, let us first represent this event in a Venn diagram and that would give us a hint about how to calculate the probability of this event. As you can see in this Venn diagram, this green shaded region is the event A1 complement intersection A2 complement. And now we have to find the intersection of this event with A3. So the intersection of this event with A3 is this region. So the event that we are interested in is represented by this red shaded region. From this Venn diagram, we can see that we can write that the probability of the event A1 complement intersection A2 complement intersection A3 is equal to probability of the event A3 minus this region. So we have to subtract this region from A3 and this region is the event A2 intersection A3. So that means probability of A3 minus the probability of A2 intersection A3. We also have to subtract this region. And this region is the event A1 intersection A3. So that means we have to subtract the probability of the event A1 intersection A3. And now note that we are subtracting this region twice. This is the region A1 intersection A2 intersection A3. So to account for double subtraction of this region, we will add the probability of the event A1 intersection A2 intersection A3. And now we can use the probabilities that are given to us in the question to find the probability of this particular event. So this is equal to 0 0.28 minus 0 0.07 minus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.01. Solving this, we get 0 0.17. So the probability of this event is 0 0.17. Now let's move to part F. In part F, we have to find the probability of the event A1 complement intersection A2 complement union A3. Well, we have a straightforward formula to calculate this probability. We can use the formula probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B to calculate this probability. It's just that in this case, our A is this A1 complement intersection A2 complement and our B is A3. So using this formula, we can write that the required probability is equal to probability of A1 complement intersection A2 complement plus probability of A3 minus probability of A1 complement intersection A2 complement intersection A3. Well, we calculated this probability in part B of this question. So from part B, we know that this probability is 0 0.64. The probability of the event A3 is 0 0.28. It's given to us in the question. And we found it the probability of this event in part E. And this was equal to 0 0.17. Solving this, we get that this is equal to 0 0.75. So the probability of this event is 0 0.75. And this is all for this question.